Welcome back to the book club. I'm Michael Knowles. The book this month, very timely, here to help me understand the world we're living in. I'm sorry, I mean 1984. <laughs> that is not a joke, what Th you just started there. This is the world we are living in. Tell me if this sounds to you yes. like a paragraph of a novel or like a news story about our world right now. Wait, before you even read the quote, you could literally pick any quote <laughs> yes. from the book and it is applicable now. So whatever you're going to say, right. no, you're right. I am going to agree, but I will jump off. I've History has stopped. Nothing exists except an endless present in which the party is always right. Sounds like life on Twitter. I'll just a quick summary for those of you who haven't read it yet. And if anyone hasn't read it, I guess you're getting the real life experience of it, but it's still worth reading to help you understand, especially your world right now. And he basically points to her and, and causes them to put the rat trap on her and sell her That's sort out. of what we're dealing with right now. You know, on Twitter, it's like everything that we're seeing, nothing means anything anymore. The way words are constantly used, or everything that we hear, without making this too political to the day right now, one of the things that they're also trying to sort of untie, that the Ministry of Untr uh, Truth is trying to untie, is the idea of time. And it does feel like right now that time feels a little weird. It's partly because of the lockdown, partly because, you know, we're, we're trapped at home, we're all on social media, but doesn't time feel mm. sort of, sort of strange right now? I, I will tell you one other thing. I'm actually watching The Handmaiden's Tale yeah. right now. Did you watch it by I, any chance? I did. I've seen some of it. Not so, the whole thing. so I'm watching it right now and there, the parallels to 1984 absolutely right. incredible. Look, yeah. think about it this way. What's like the hottest book on the left right now? It's White Fragility. Yes. What's the subtitle of White Fragility? I don't know what it is exactly, but in essence, it's something like how white people can blah, blah, blah. So what does that sound like we're, right now? It sounds like he, him, they, yes. her, all of these things. So again, it's like, wow, how did he do this in 1948? I'm not yeah. exactly sure. Something like V for Vendetta. It's the idea is that it's this far right political machine that's silencing people and everything else. And that's an interesting flip on mm. this. So it's it's one of those things where it's like, there's so much truth and yet there's still these like offshoots where you can kind of go, oh, it's not exactly right, but it's like, it's pretty much there. Well, so I I'm obviously frustrated uh, as I read yeah, this because yeah, I look yeah. around and I say, oh my gosh, it's really happening. If there is hope, it lies in the proles, the proles, like the proletarians or mm -hmm. the lower class of people. They don't really follow all these rules. They're kind of ignored by the, the party. There's another word for that. What's that? The deplorables. The deplorables. It's like, I hear a lot of people being like, you know, I'd love to pull a John Galt one day, you know, and just, just disappear altogether. It sort of feels like The Purge, right? The movie The Purge. I mean, right. the idea is you get one day a year to do all the horrible stuff. That's yeah. what the movie The Purge is about. I was like, there has to be something at the end that will, that will kind of <laughs> no. like want us to continue, right? Especially people like yeah. us that put our thoughts out there, yeah. right? In many ways, when I was rereading it, I kept thinking, man, what they needed was a Trump. How do you think he did it? What was it that he saw in the 1940s that could predict our present moment? The phrase Orwellian, it's not just the other phrases, but his name yes. actually uh, became a phrase. That tells you something really good happened.